is Frank Zipfinger and I have the privilege to be the President of the MBS Alumni Council and it's my great pleasure to welcome uh, you all here tonight. Uh, we have a terrific gathering of alumni, donors, donor members, corporate guests, faculty and staff and students and it's always particularly pleasing uh, to welcome our current students. I'm delighted to welcome the following directors of News Corporation who are with us here tonight. Peter Blunden, who's also Managing Director of Herald and Weekly Times. Sir Rod Edgington, who will speak to us later this evening. Peter Barnes, who's also Chairman of MBS donor member Ansel Limited and an MBS alumnus. Keith Brody, Group Human Resources Director of News Limited. And Julian Clark, Chairman of Herald and Weekly Times and a long-time friend of the school. Since 1989, the generosity of News Limited has supported 52 Rupert Murdoch Fellows, currently living and working all over the world. I'm pleased to say, though, that 25 of them are here tonight at this dinner. It's a great pleasure to see so many friends and supporters of the school here tonight. And it's also a privilege to stand here as the Dean of Melbourne Business School. On behalf of Melbourne Business School and the Rupert Murdoch Fellows community, uh, many of whom are here tonight, can I publicly thank News Limited for their support of Melbourne Business School through this very important fellowship. It's a privilege to be here this evening, um, particularly to recognise the Rupert Murdoch Fellows. There are, I think, something like 25 of you here this evening, and given that only 50, as it were, have been awarded the fellowship since it began 20 years ago. It's terrific that so many of you are able to make it this evening. So, the lessons of history are clear. Don't succumb to arrogance. Push forward. Never stop learning. Never take success for granted. Past success has never been any guarantee of future success. The collapse of empires tell us that, and not just empires, businesses too. to announce that the 2009 Outstanding Recent Alumnus Award goes to Adam Garoni, MBS Master of Marketing 1999 and the co-founder and CEO of the group known as Movember. Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Um, firstly, thank you so much for this award. I'm sincerely sorry that I can't be there tonight to um, share uh, in this moment and celebration. Um, my Movember journey brings me to California, where I'm running the US uh, campaign and the Canadian campaign while still being global CEO of the Movember Foundation, which I started back in 2003 and 4. I'm really honoured and privileged to accept the Outstanding Recent Alumni Award. It means a lot to me and to our organisation, so I wanted to thank everyone at Melbourne Business School um, for, for this award and also just to acknowledge everyone in the audience that has participated in Movember and made donations. You are the real reason why I get to uh, do what I do and accept these sorts of awards. Thank you, Adam Garoni, an outstanding recipient of this year's award. Uh, it's now my great honour and privilege on behalf of the Dean and the Council to announce the recipient of the 2009 MBS Distinguished Alumnus Award is Catherine Walter AM. The criteria for this award include professional achievement, community achievement and contribution to the Melbourne Business School. Cathy embraces and exemplifies all of these criteria. Thank you very much, Frank, um, and all the Alumni Council for that um, very touching award. Um, I think in a sense the whole history of the Melbourne Business School is one of philanthropy and if in any way I've been able to make a contribution in that context it is because I learned at the feet of giants in terms of philanthropy. Melbourne is a great city of philanthropists. The Business School is built not just on bricks and mortar but by the incredible endeavour of a whole history of philanthropists many of whom are here tonight and know who they are. It is, of course, not at all um, a big ask to contribute to an institution that has had such a seminal way in forming the sort of person one becomes, and for me, the business school is that. It is, in a sense, not an act of philanthropy, but, quite frankly, the repayment of a debt 
and in a sense, tonight's award puts me even further in debt. Thank you so much.